Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Helmut, the creator of Artista. I'm here this time to show you how you can easily create a simple walking cycle on Artista. So let's do it. In this video, we will skip the character creation uh, to make this video uh, shorter than the other ones. Um, the character Ored has his bone system and is ready to be animated. For those that has uh, questions about character creation or bone systems and how to assign bones, there are a lot of videos on Artista YouTube channel. First of all, I will draw a line, a straight line, uh, to use as reference uh, as a floor. Increase the size a little bit and create a group for it. We we'll call it floor, and I will lock it. Okay. A simple walk cycle can be built using just two poses. So let's create the first one. Let's go to the first frame and create a keyframe. So what we will gonna do here? Let's raise this leg a little bit, like this, to start our step. Let's move this arm a little bit to back, this other arm a little bit to front. You may notice that I am rolling out. Uh, out enables uh, inverse kinematics. And the Q key uh, makes, tells Artista to show, show me only, only the bones. So let's continue creating the second pose. The second pose is a little bit more interesting. So let's stretch this leg to front and this other leg to, to back. And let's bring this character a little bit more closer to the ground. So F2, we got this, right? Just let me bring his body a little bit more to back. A little bit like this, yes. Okay, what we have to do now is that if this leg is to front, this arm should be more to back. And the other legs in the other arm is the inverse, like this. So, select everything, F2 for interpolation, we got this. During all the moment, you should and you must correct any character damage point like this. Now, what we will gonna do is to repeat these two poses in the inverse way. So here, let's repeat the first pose, but instead this leg will be the other leg. Let's go here, keyframe. What we were gonna do now, just stretch this leg, the character more to the top, this leg, sorry, this leg, this the same angle okay let's bring this arm more to back okay yes a more soft position and let's press f2 for interpolation let's see what it got until now second pose and get back to the first pose but in, with inverted legs. Now the same position we get here we'll do on this keyframe here but with inverted legs. Let's stretch this one to front, this one back and the arms in the inverse way like this. Sorry and let's bring his character more closer to the ground. Lay down a little bit to front. Press F2 for interpolation to see what we got. Here is our walking cycle. What we can do now is to make this 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 walking cycle more more all the movement more dynamic. When this arm is like this and goes back on this right moment i will pick his shoulder 
and do this right oh, and on this movement I will bring it a little bit more to the front let's select everybody so the this is because the shoulders moves a little bit when you are walking so here is our walking cycle what we will do now the next frame will be the first frame again so I'll select everybody do this and drag to here F2 for interpolation and we got this right let's repeat again everybody control to and drag to here and we got this F2 for interpolation let's remove our line our floor and here is our walking cycle let's see what we can do to 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 make all this movement more natural on this moment we can shake his head a little bit to the front on this moment to back this moment to front and this moment a little bit back front and back again f2 okay we got this so here is our simple walking cycle using just two poses and now you have an idea of what you can do and the way you should uh, do to, to create your own walking cycle the next video we'll talk about how to give you a little bit more details to your animation